Hey there, it's Tony with Itty Bitty Sticker Co. and I'm here for the new release video. I'm very excited. I'm also very late. It is like 2 o'clock on Monday, so I just got my to-do list done. I got like overly ambitious for the day. Like I got up at like 7. I went and got a... Well, actually, I got up before that. I left the house around 7. I went and got a coffee, went to the dry cleaner, went to Michael's, came home when I realized there were now people out, and then I did laundry and dish. Anyway, I finally got around to shop stuff, and that was cutting all the new releases to show you guys. Freebies for TPC is also going to be in this video. It's going to be an exciting one. So... Let's do, let's do the freebie for this month. It's, so this is limited, quant, quant, oh, the word, quantity. So I have a bunch of these um, washi cards. These are not thick enough. They're like, they're actually really thin. So you can kind of see they wobble. So will they cut washi? Sure, they will. But they weren't exactly what I was going for, um, for releasing this into the shop. That has since been fixed and hopefully we'll have these in the shop soon. But um, until these run out, every order this month will get a washi metal card thing not a cutter I'm just calling it a washi card compared to a cutter does that make sense I don't know if it does to me like a washi cutter would be something like this um really thick one from sweeping plans so yeah I like this one it's very nice and I like these and they do work um they just might not necessarily um be as stiff but like you know you can still put it here and you know, you can still rip. It still gets the job done, but I get, I feel like you get what I'm saying about the, um, it's not as hard as I would like. They're not as stiff. So I have like 25 of these. Um, so maybe we'll run out. Maybe we won't with TPC. Cause these won't come with any of the TPC orders. You'll get the TPC freebies, but I thought I had a pretty good amount to give away. And then once I run out of these, we'll just do random washi. So it'll just be kind of like a free for all D stash sort of freebie situation. So let's start with the Molly sheets this month. There are 12. Seems to be a good number. We have Molly Loves Being Fairly Odd. This is the Molly take on the Fairly Odd Parents. There is a kit. It is ridiculous. I love it. Molly Loves Directing. This is for my beloved Jen. Her daughter is in theater and I just thought it would be really, really, really cute to mark her daughter's theater times. The Molly Loves Spooky Planning. This is our Halloween offering this year. There is matching washi to this one. It's really cute. This one is so cute. And the washi is so cute. And the kit is so You know what? It's all cute because it's Molly, right? Then we have Molly Has Anxiety. This is for me because I am incredibly anxious, like, all the time. Um, so I just thought that maybe, like, it would be nice to have an anxiety Molly. Not that I want to have to, oh, sorry. I was digging for some stuff because I realized I forgot to bring the washi over. Um, and I just made a huge mess all over my desk, more so than usual. But anyway, I have, um, anxiety and I thought it would be a really nice way to mark, like, those bad days. Like, if you're going to have to have a bad day, you might as well have a cute sticker for it. Molly loves building furniture. This is very, like ikea <laughs> sort of vibes to it um i decided to do this one because i'm hoping very soon to get some more storage in my uh shop and i know that my husband's gonna have to put that together for me i bet he's very excited he doesn't even know about it yet i bet he's excited though then this is molly loves being the riveter so it's the it's instead of we can do it i changed it to i can do it and it's just a really cute like an affirmation sort of sticker like when you're kind of struggle busting through some things I can't believe I didn't bring out the washi this just feels right like <sighs> uh, annoying. I have two of one washi but I don't have you know what that's just this feels right um would it be one of my videos without me having to go dig for something right okay so anyway I thought this would be really cute as like an affirmation sort of thing just having a day and she's got this little headband on oh it's so cute Molly loves Ferris wheels. I'm going to be honest with you. I just thought this was cute. There was not really a rhyme or reason to this one. I just was like, yeah, that seems like fun. Molly loves turtles. This was a special request and it's pretty cute. Apparently, um, turtle ears are kind of weird. So we just had to do cat ears. That's kind of like, well, they're all like she's wearing a onesie. So like the unicorn and the cow. It's very cute. I was actually a little surprised by how cute this one is. Molly loves racing. This one was a request. Yes. Yes, I believe it was. Molly loves to meditate. I just thought this one was cute. I don't know. She's real zen. She's like, hi, ah, yes, relaxing. Real life Molly's not like that. That thing is a straight up disaster. Molly loves charging her car. I figure if you guys have an electric car or a Tesla or something like that. Well, I guess that is an electric car. You know, you get what I'm saying. 
And then Molly is hanging in there again. Another affirmations one, just like you guys can get through it. We can get through this day together. Um, I really don't know why I didn't grab that washi. Like, can you tell that that's bothering me? Um, or did I? I hate, nope. Dang it. Okay, give me like one second. I got it. I got it. I found the washi. And now I'm going to sit down. Okay, that's excellent. Feels right. It feels right to have a video where it's like a hot mess express. Okay, let's do some tidying. There we go. All right, vertical kits this month. There are two. The first one is <laughs> the Molly Loves Being Fairly Odd. I'm straight up using this one. I, I just, oh, this is like a passion project for me. Like, oh, so excited. <laughs> Here's the full boxes. This is a full double box. Um, like before I had it cut in the middle and it cut Timmy Turner in half and that was not cute. And then this one is a, um, it's cut. So you'll be able to like split it across some boxes. So yeah, that's how that one's done. Then you can see the color palette, lots of purples. I, I wasn't, I tried, I tried a bunch of different things and this is what came to me and I just really, really like it. Super cute date covers. More glitter. Yes. So yeah, pretty standard format, but those full boxes, they just, hee hee hee, <laughs> they really do get me. So the next one is Molly Loves Halloween Planning. This one is so cute. So this one matches one of the washies. This is the Salem Event Washi. So if you were going to be at the Salem TPC meetup, you will get this washi. So don't buy it if you are interested, because you'll already get it. Um, but I do have some limited overstock in the shop. So you can see how they go together. The color is really nice together. It's very cute. I like it a lot. The only difference is like this, these bats are purple and these are black just for, you know, aesthetic reasons for the kit. So here are the full boxes. I love it. It is so cute. It's like a, um, kind of like a Halloween planning. So like a cauldron of pins. You have Halloween washi. You have Molly as a little witch. You have a planner stack, but with a little skull on top. I just thought it was really cute. And the colors are very traditional, like um, Halloween to me, oranges and blacks and that lime green and purple. Like, oof, I'm here for it. Color palette. Did a little something with these date covers. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited with how these turned out. So these are actually um, like kiss cut. So you can see the top is the little pins, it's the top of the cauldron. I just thought that was really cute. I actually was gonna do the same color as the cauldron, so they really like came together nicely, but it kind of looked strange, so I pulled it up. Anyway, and I did black because this washi is so purple. I didn't think it would look really nice against the orange. I didn't think it looked good against like the lime green. Um, so I went with the black glitter because it's easy. Then we have the add-on sheet, which is really, really pretty. So yeah, that is the second kit. This is our Halloween offering this year. I believe that's going to be the only one. Um, we have several Halloween kits that are from previous years that are still in the shop. I don't pull things down very often, obviously. <laughs> so then we have the October monthly. This is a new October monthly. The old one is still up, but this is a new one for this year. It's very cute. It's like all the same stuff from the other... Um, kit so you have the spider webs you have the bats you have the molly as a little witch cauldrons all that kind of stuff i did change the background color here because i wanted to use that purple as the background so this is now white but you know you get the point it's still the same color palette identical to the kit so yeah really like this one cannot wait to use that one it is gonna be so cute then each of these kits has a tpc kit so here is the Halloween planning one. Really, really, really cute. I like this one. I didn't want Molly to get um, chopped. So she's a full box, same for these, but everything else has a little shadowy area for you to be able to put your fonts in or your fonts in, wow, your scripts in or write into your um, particular, um, wow, what word do I want? Uh, section for the week? That works, category. And then you can see the color palette again, same as before. These are a little bit shorter than the one in the vertical kit just for sizing um, needs, but I'm really happy with this one. It's so cute. Oops, it went on an adventure. Sorry about that. And then we have the Fairly Odd Parents version. 
so cute. I'm so pleased by how this one came out. So you have the actual like obtuse rubber goose thing over here. Then you have Fairy World here, Cosmo and Wanda, but you can still see their little faces and then you can still put your scripts there. And then you have them as fishies. And then I've sprinkled in some like um, um, random stars and whatnot. And then the color palette with the same date covers, the whole nine yards, really, really pretty. I love this one a lot. Kind of makes me wish that I was using my TPC Nation planner, but I already burned out on that. It only took a day. Then here are the Hobo Weeks version. As you can see, <laughs> it's the Fairly Odd Parents. So I decided to do the fish with like the intro song and then the one with Cosmo, Wanda, and Timmy at the bottom. And then um, to make sure there's plenty of the color, I just kind of did the half color thing. I thought it turned out cute. Then we have this one, and this is the Halloween planning. I don't usually put two mollies, like it'll just be one molly, but I really couldn't figure out what I wanted to put there, and I just decided because they'll be on opposite pages, it wouldn't be that big of a deal if there were two mollies. So I went with it. Same color palette as the kit, so yeah. Eventually there will be all, all the kits in the shop eventually will be reformatted into TPC and into the Hobo Weeks, but we're not there yet. I didn't do any reformatting this month. Um, I had some other things I wanted to get done. So next up, we have a redo of something that came out, I believe, last month. So the other version, I was finding it difficult to pull into spreads. Like, that's just what it was. I had a bright and I had a light. And because the top colors were all the colors, I just couldn't pull it in. It was stressing me out. So I was like, you know what? Let's do a complete overhaul. So now we, I've also included Molly Red. That's an air quotes because technically that's not part of our color palette. But I needed two extra colors. So we do have that more muted red. And then there's a black that is also not part of the color palette. But the other colors are. So you can kind of see it's the dark and the light of each of the colors in the color palette and then it also matches the books so it'll be a lot easier to pull in have this one and then we have the neutrals so yeah i hope that this makes it easier to use because man i was struggling it was not ideal <laughs> And then I did some Molly Currently reading stickers. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Sugar Pop Fizz ones. Like it's, that, that is no secret in my world, but sometimes you need Molly. And again, I, the color palette was my situation. Was like, I use a lot of Molly stuff and sometimes I need Molly color palette things. So I went with this like Molly behind a book stack. And if you look, there's like a little paw print. I was really happy with that little detail. It's really cute. You have the reds, the pinks, the purple, and the blue. Then you have the teal, you have the green, yellow, and orange. And then you end in the neutrals. I find this one to be just light enough to write on, but this one could be problematic. So just be aware. It's pretty dark, but it's like a gray kind of black color. I don't know if we can write on one. Oh, no, I don't want to waste it, so never mind. Then let's see. We should do the washi that I had to disappear to go find. So we have the Halloween washi that matches the kit. And then we have the candy washi that was part of the TPC Kentucky these are all overstocks. I don't have a lot of them. So if you are interested in them, you may want to get on it. Um, just because it's just, this is just what I have. Um, I didn't have a full compliment because when I ordered, I had to order enough for the event. And then, so whatever was left in quantities of 50. So I think there's like 30 of these left, these Halloween ones. And I think I only have maybe 30 of these which is significantly less than what I usually have so there's those two those are the only washies I have a new washi order coming in tomorrow 29 molly designs that are going to be trickled in through the next year but these are so cute love them yes okay and then finally if you don't want to see this because some people don't want to see them but the TPC sale freebies are here I'm going to show you what I'm doing I am doing these little poison labels. So Molly has little poison labels. These are cut, so you can just pull these little labels right off. I couldn't get it, it's too little. Um, they're very little, so you can't really see the detail. And then the, she's a zombie. Can you tell how cute is that? I cannot handle it. But I went ahead and did a bigger version. These are full box-ish sizes. So if you look at these, um, you can see that they're like kind of, um, they're, they're cut like kiss cut instead of actually being square. So ish, they could be a little wide. Well, they won't be wider, but they could be a little taller. So we have the one that's Beetlejuice. Then we have Ghost Tears. And you can kind of see the color palette with this like weird greeny color, red, this dark, dark purple, and this like black color. Then we have Poison, unfiltered, just, you know, to be specific. Very cute. Dragon's Blood. 
And then we have zombie fingers. This one's my favorite. This is the new zombie that I was going to release this month, but I totally forgot about it until I was doing this. So next month, you'll have the new updated zombie. But this is for every $10 spent, you get one of these. Spend 50, you get all of them. Per usual, you use the code the Molly Squad, you will get the Molly freebie, which I totally don't have over here. I've been using the heck out of them. So I, um, I don't have like a nice one for you to see, but really cute and maybe I don't know I haven't decided no I don't think so I was gonna do a Facebook group freebie but I don't want to so yeah ta-da pretty pleased with it I think these offerings are pretty cute and hopefully maybe next year we'll turn this one into a kit but this is this is it for this for Halloween so yeah anyway what do you guys think did I do a good job I'm pretty happy with this release I must say I feel I feel pretty content make it cute. I feel pretty content that this one is a really decent release. Like I'm really proud of this one. I feel like it's cute. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I would love if you gave this video a thumbs up. If you decide you want to come join the Itty Bitty Sticker Co family, that would be amazing. And just hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget TPC starts on, oh, I forgot. Let's look. We have a planner for this. Let's see. Um, It starts on the 12th. So the 12th through the 15th? Is that right? 12th, 13th. Is that right? It is what it is. I'll, I'll put the actual dates down below because, um, yeah, I was not planned for that. All right. Bye.